What's happening guys? My name is Wiz and today we're going to talk about some of the important consumables that you will find in Diablo 3 then you may not know what to do with. So we are talking about for instance if we go to my inventory here and you can see the hell firing. We also have the Inferno Machine of Fright, Protridness, Regret and tear it those are some consumables that you can use to op open a portal and then you can just go in there and fight some big bosses now the way you get those is by going to the map now when you go to the map as you can see right here on act one you can see field of misery has a key now if you go in there now when you go in there now you follow in the bluish purplish uh, kind of arrow you can see once you kill the warden then you will have a key called infernal machine of regret that's for act one and this is the same thing for all the other acts from one through four so technically you need to go to act one through four. So since I already went to act one, so if you check act two, you can see there's a key right here. So you do this one. And then if we go back to three, you can also do this one. It doesn't have to be the boundaries for the day or whatever. Just follow the blue purplish uh, arrow and then you'll find that warden and you will kill it. And then when you go to act four, and you can see the key right here. This one will give you the plan so you can use for the blacksmith. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about the plan, I am talking about when you go here, you can see right here, design hellfire. This is what they call the plan. Every time you see those, you use those for whatever you need to do. And now that you know how to get uh, those uh, consumables, now the next thing is you have to open the portal to actually go fight the bosses. So you come over here where you see that brother Malachi guy, the healer, and then you come to this door right here and then you just need to make sure you kick the door and then you go in. Now you can only interact with those consumables while you are in this little house. And then so I come here, so I'm just gonna go into my inventory and then I'm just gonna use this one for instance. So when I use it, you can see that it opens a portal that's the fright one you can just go and uh, do one at a time if you want or you can just go and do all three of them and that way you can just once you finish one and then you go just do the other one so i did it this one so once you use it then it's gonna take it away Under this one. And I'm going to this one. Right now you see I have four portals that I'm going to go into. So I'm going to go to the first one. Now just make sure you get a decent build. And then just go in there and fight the boss or whatever you need to do. And then so you can just get it done. It's very easy to do all this thing.
Now, once you kill all those bosses inside those portals, then you get those materials that you need to actually craft the Hellfire Ring. So if you come up here, for instance, you're gonna come here and do it to the ring. And then you go down and you will see that there will be available for you to craft. As long as you get the material, then you'll be able to do that. For instance, I'm gonna use this one and I am going to craft this ring right here. So now you see, I get the Hellfire ring right here. And then as you can see, it's got some very good stats as, as far as, you know, the ethics. It says chance on hit to engulf the ground in lava, dealing 200% weapon damage per second for six seconds. Now, as you can see, you can also use this to get a certain stats. And uh, you do this for this one, for intelligence, for strength, and for vitality. So as long as you get the necessary materials, you'll be able to do that. You can also craft the Hellfire Amulet. So if I go here, go to the amulet, and go all the way down. As you can see, we got those options available for intelligence, strength, and also dexterity. So whichever one you want, you just go ahead and craft them. Depends on your character. Now, another use of this is for the altar of right. At one point, when you get to step six of the altar of right, it's gonna ask you to sacrifice some of those materials, which is the same way that you go to the portal and get those materials, and then you're gonna sacrifice them in order for you to unlock the node six or the sixth node or step six in the altar of right. So that's another thing that you can use those for. In any case, hopefully this helped. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.